I heard it said that the simple definition for photography is the manipulation of light. So for your photography, whether shooting indoors or out, you need reliable equipment. So today on Behind the Shutter Release Photography, we're going to be talking about flash triggers, the different types of triggers, and their functions, and my recommendations for the beginning photographer. When it comes to triggers, there's only two types, the infrared trigger and the radio trigger. Characteristics of an infrared trigger. Infrared triggers needs a straight line viewing between the transmitter and the receiver, which means nothing can be in between the transmitter and the receiver, nothing can block it, or the receiver will not pick up the signal. And the infrared trigger has a shorter range of transmission and it can be affected by sunlight, which makes it less reliable. Now for the radio trigger. Radio triggers, unlike their counterparts, the infrared triggers don't need straight line sight in order to fire the flash. The trigger fires the flash through a radio frequency predetermined by the manufacturer, which cannot be affected by walls or even sunlight. And also, frequency triggers have a greater range that you can shoot from, which makes them perfect for outdoor shooting. Wireless flash triggers comes with a variety of features. But the ones I think is most important is TTL and high speed sync. TTL means through the lens. So how does it work? It's when the trigger uses the settings of the lens to determine the right flash output for the correct exposure. So then what is high speed sync? When a trigger and a flash has high speed sync, it allows you to go above the sync speed of your camera. For example, if the sync speed of your camera is one two hundredth of a second, High speed sync would allow you to set your settings of your shutter above 250, maybe 500, maybe 1000. My advice to the beginning photographer, get what you can afford because triggers can become quite pricey. Like us on Facebook and come join our community of photographers on Google+.